For most NHL hockey players, the offseason means golf, a little bit of sun and surf before training begins again. But for one Edmonton Oiler, he goes hard all summer long in one of the most dangerous sports around. Dave Mitchell has the story. What am I doing out here? Uh, getting away from the hockey rink for a bit. When it comes to his slightly famous hired hand, Ray Crotto Jr. has a saying. The horses go to the bathroom, they have a poop there, you, you can pilot. So at the end of the summer when you're done your apprenticeship, you got your pilot's license. So he's, uh, he's the number one pilot around here. <laughs> Actually, this Edmonton Oiler who surprised fans late last season with his speed, skill and passion is just as valuable working alongside Crotto Jr. before the start of the world pro chuck wagon season. Uh, he's got the, the farm and horse sense. I can't talk, I'm gonna get dirt in my mouth. This will be the second year Glenn Cross will devote most of his summer to harnessing, hooking up, and hanging on in what's called the half mile of hell. So it's good in the summertime to, you know, kind of get away from the rink and, you know, clear your head and, you know, this is one of my hobbies. I come out here and hang out with Ray. Oh. It's a hobby that gets Glenn Cross in some scary spots. Now, his job is to ride with Crotto Jr. until just before the race. Oh, then he jumps off, oh. Oh. waits until the wagon circles, and he's back on to give Ray a breather on the reins. So it's easy to see how these guys stay in great shape all summer long. They call it chuck wagon aerobics. But just in case Glenn Cross needs an extra workout inside their dirty, dusty, and kind of smelly trailer, they keep an exercise bike on standby. Well, every sport's dangerous a little bit. And, uh, no, this is a little bit more. Come on, Kurt. Yeah, it's a, it's a little more intense. Uh, you know, it's going, you know, 30, 40 mile an hour down the track. You're, uh, you know, it's ripping out there pretty good because you never know when an accident can happen. Like when our rig went over a barrel and Glenn Cross made sure we all didn't get a face full of dirt or much worse. Well, the three of us in the wagon there we went up a little teeter-totter and had to jump up the side a bit to keep us on four wheels, but uh, yeah, it was fun. But that doesn't actually mean Curtis wants to take over the reins anytime soon. During a race, absolutely not. Um, I couldn't do it. To... What do you mean you couldn't do it? That's uh, a little out of my league right now. For now, he'll leave the driving to the experts. Uh, he's got lots of years left, you know, as a as a hockey player. So hopefully, you know, if he ever decides to be a wagon driver, he can pretty much do that any time of your life. In Grand Prairie, Dave Mitchell, CTV Sports.